What's good guys? So in this video, we're going to be going over creating a um, a backpack system. So if you wanted to do something for like a backpack system for an RPG or um, a survival type game or like a Minecraft type game, then this is something that you may want to use. Um, so yeah, and you may want to actually tweak this around. I'm not using like the best practices right now uh, I'm just getting the idea across um, but for this uh, we have a stick okay pretty pretty good stick so uh, we're gonna go in here and add a script in the stick and this script uh, in this script we're going to put um, script parent script dot parent dot touched connect and we're going to create a function that is called on touched for this to connect to so local function on touched other part and we're going to say uh, local character is equal to other part dot parent local player is equal to game dot players get player for character character and then we're going to say if not player then return end okay and this is so we don't get any bugs okay this is so that if the part is touching something else that doesn't happen to be a character or a player, it's not going to run our script, okay? So, yeah. We only want this script to run when it is a player that is interacting with the part. So that's why we did this code like that. And then we can, um, we can be even more safe and say if player, but um, there's just, you know may not be a need but let's just go ahead and do it if player then um and what we're gonna say is nothing yet we're gonna do what to do we're gonna say um you know increase uh stick by count and destroy stick uh actually what are we doing here we're gonna say add stick to players backpack and destroy stick okay that's a better note for that so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into server um server storage uh create a module script and what am i doing right now we're going to rename it to backpack just to keep it clean backpack and we're going to name it here backpack as well. Name it here backpack as well. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a table inside of our backpack. Okay, and we're going to say, um, what are we going to call this table? Um, player backpacks equals table. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a function, uh, not a local function. We're going to say backpack.init. Um, actually, we need to put the function here, just not local. Back, function backpack.init, which stands for initialize. And we're going to say game.players.player added connect. And we're going to create a function called on player added. So now we're going to say local function on player added. Player is going to be what we pass in as the argument. We're going to say local data is equal to backpack dot player backpacks. And now we're going to say data player dot sticks is equal to zero. All right, so what we're doing here, this single line of code, okay? Oh, first off, we need to create 
a table for our player. So local, um, actually we can just do data player equals boom. So now, okay, now what we what we have done is we have created, we have inserted the player into backpack dot player backpacks. Okay, and we've created them to have their own table. So we're basically creating them to have their own backpack inside of player backpacks. That's what this line is doing. Okay, so adding player. Um, as a table, adding, add, we'll say adding player table, or we'll say giving player their own table inside of player backpacks table. Um, and then this is saying adding six to players backpack table. Okay, so that's what these two lines are doing right here. And so now our player, uh, every single player that gets added to the game is going to have this invisible inventory um, that's related to sticks. And we can now access that information. So right here, what we can do is um, first things first, though, we're going to create another script into server script service. We're going to rename this to init. What am I doing here? We're going to rename this script to init. <clears throat> we are going to um, now get our, um, actually, we can really just save ourselves some time. Uh, and so now we put our module inside of our init, because why not? So um, we can just say local backpack equals require. Um, script dot backpack. Now what we can do is we can just say backpack dot backpack dot init. Okay, so like our function is, let's go back to our backpack. Let me try to spell that right. Okay, backpack dot init, which is our function, our init function. All right. Um, and then so we can also have a print down here. Um, print. Backpack has been created for, and then we can uh, do dot dot and then player dot name. Okay, and then we have that. Now, let's go back to our um, our untouched. All right, so what we can do here is we can actually call this on touched script so on say on touched script and then what we can do is um we can now we have to require the backpack so we can say uh local backpack equals um eating it or Wire game dot server script service dot init dot backpack. Um, and we can actually rename this to have a capital because I actually like putting all my everything inside of the workplace. I like using cap all caps, not all caps, but just caps to separate words. Um, so let's go back here. Uh, into our unit and make sure that we change that to backpack as well. And so, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So now we can go back here to our untouched, and now we can remove this to do, which is add to add stick to player's backpack and destroy stick. All right, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna say um, backpack dot players or player backpacks backpack dot player backpacks player dot sticks 
plus equals one. And then we can say script.parent destroy because we we're adding the stick to our inventory, so we're just going to destroy the stick. That's what this is going to do. Um, so then we can say print a stick a stick has been added to dot dot player dot name dot dot Um, we can say, um, add it to player in the backpack and the stick has been destroyed. All right, cool. Let's go here. Cat name. All right, boom. All right, so let's run these and see what happens. Backpack has been created for sheep bowl. Cool. So that worked. Backpack is not a valid member of Backpack is not a valid member of server script dot service. Okay, yeah. So we need to change that back. I forgot to change it to a capital. Alright, so capital B. Alright, cool. Alright. So player has been added, uh, backpack has been created for sheeple, that works. So now we can go over here and say a stick has been added to sheeple backpack and the stick has been destroyed as you can see. So let's now print uh, a while in a while loop. Let's just say while uh, task.wait1, task.wait1 do um, print um we can print um actually let's do this in the let's do this in the on player add function actually um so while true while task dot wait one do and then we can say um we can say um print um player dot name as um we can say data player dot um as many steps. Okay, we'll actually do this as a warn maybe, just so you can see a different color. Okay, so backpack has been created. Oh, concatenate attempting to create. Oh, so we'll have to two string this. So two string. Okay, so we had to two string this because we can't concatenate strings and numbers. as nil mini sticks all right as nil mini sticks i wonder why it is no oh because i said wood not sticks okay so that's cool uh, so now it should work as zero mini sticks now we pick this up has one mini sticks so that's really how you can do that. Um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. If you guys have any uh, coding like challenges or just crazy stuff you want to see or like cool stuff that you'd like me to do, uh, comment down below and I'll see if I can I can do that for you. But uh, yeah, have a good rest of your guys' day. Peace.